This is our basic handheld adjustable rotary spreader, which is ideal for small lawns. This handy spreader can be used to apply miracle Grow Evergreen lawn treatments and also our grass seed products. Our products differ in granular size due to the different formulations, so the spreader has to have a range of settings to allow for smooth and even product coverage. This spreader has five settings, which can be found on the right-hand side of the handle, and using a simple slide mechanism, this ensures the correct setting is selected. On this instance, I have set the slider to 5 and will now press the on-off switch or trigger. You can see in the hopper the size of the hole where the product can pass through onto the agitator. If you change the setting to 2, you can now see the difference in the size of the hole, which is significantly reduced. This spreader is manually operated by turning this handle. Rotating it in a clockwise direction like this helps the agitator to rotate. You can see the running agitator in the splatter hopper or basin moving around. Underneath the hopper you can see the orange disc or agitator rotating, which will dispense the products evenly into the lawn. Application rates can vary depending on the product, its setting and your walking speed, so it's best to time your walking speed before you apply the product. The trick is to apply the product evenly and this is based on your walking speed. For this spreader you need to cover 1 meter per second. We would recommend that you measure 5 meters first by using two canes 5 meters apart. Walk between the two canes holding the empty spreader and time yourself until you can consistently do this in 5 seconds. Once you have mastered your walking speed, this is the speed you need to walk across the lawn applying the product. To fill the hopper, place the spreader on a level surface. Do not fill directly on the lawn or cultivated area since excess product could be spilled, resulting in excess product being applied. Let's take a look at this handheld spreader in action. I've added Miracle Gravel Green Fast Green to the hopper and I'm ready to go. This product does not require two passes, however if all our products do require two treatments, then for best results cover the lawn area in different directions. This will avoid tram lines between each row where no product has fallen. Adjust the setting of the spreader using the slider and then place your hand through the spreader rest to grab the handle. You will notice that your forearm rests comfortably onto the rest, making it more ergonomically friendly to apply the product. It is also a useful device to store the product when it is not being used. When ready, hold the spreader at a comfortable height, at right angles to your body and walk normally whilst turning the handle. Pull the trigger, this will then release the product in front of the spreader as you walk. We recommend that you start the disc spinning before opening the hopper and close the hopper before stopping to avoid excess product falling onto your lawn and causing damage. This spreader dispenses in approximately a 3 meter arc. We do recommend that you overlap the previous run by just a few centimeters to ensure coverage. Due to the wide throw of this product, we recommend that you don't use this spreader on a windy day. You should advise your customer to wait until the wind has died down, because if the granules are blown onto a flower bed, they might harm the plants. After the product has been applied correctly, if no rain falls within two days, water the lawn thoroughly so that the lawn food starts to work. We also recommend to avoid walking on the lawn until it is watered in and it has fully dried, to reduce the risk of transferring the granules to other areas of the garden where they may cause staining, for example decking or paths. It is important to maintain your spreader, so clean it out every time you use the spreader. This will avoid product clogging up the mechanisms. If the handle has become too hard to turn, this is probably due to granules finding their way into the gearbox under the spinner. Empty the hopper and soak the spreader in warm soapy water for a few hours to dissolve the granules and then wash it out with clean water. Allow it to dry thoroughly before using it again.